Hi guys, I'm here with my weekly mail. Just got a couple of things, just like two or three things. Hold on, let me rotate you up a little higher. Oh, okay, that's better. Um, so it's something if you're, you know, I think I'll do like a, maybe like a little chit chat at the very end and just, I don't know, talk about random stuff. Um, so, but if you wanna just see what I got in the mail, um, it'll take like maybe two, three, four, five minutes, something like that. Anyway, let's get started. So the first thing that I got, I got some new headphones for my son. These are just some gold toned colored ones. Oh no, they're not, they're silver toned. It shows gold tone on the outside, but they're silver toned headphones. Um, you can answer the phone with them. They have like, a, you know, where you can answer the headset or whatever and different pieces here, a little clip here if you want to clip it to your shirt. None of them do that. So it's a nice, um, I don't know, like a, feels like almost like a silicone out, outer layer here, which is nice. And then I also got, actually what I'll show you first, I got this little baggie here and it's of these Vel, they're Velcro dots. So one roll here, here, this side. One roll here is like the rough side and then the other side is the soft side. And they are awesome. Like they are super, super sticky. I like them. I kind of just stuck them onto this piece of mail that I had just to see if it worked because I was concerned that the stickiness would like come off. You know, if you stuck them together, sometimes when you're like, you know those things that hook onto the wall, what are they called? Like the command strips and stuff, those are like really, really good. But sometimes if you get like the cheapy weepy version, they just kind of like come off and they separate from each other. And and um, the Velcro is not that good, you know, whatever. So this one, the Velcro is really, really good. And, um, once they stick to the surface of where you're sticking, it doesn't want to come off. So if you need like some nice sticky little Velcro dots, I would imagine that they have different shapes and stuff like that. This is really good. I mean, even on a piece of paper, I stuck it to like a piece of mail that I have just to, you know, just to test it out and see how it works. But um, it doesn't come off of either one of the surfaces. The glue that they use for this, like I'm telling you, I cannot even peel it off the paper. Um, that's like some really good sticky stuff. And it says value acne. Acne? You think something that says value is no good, but it's good. All right, the next thing I got is a cute little harness for Digger. However, um, the size I got him, because my dog is like a hot dog, you know, dot shund, dot sh I never know how to say it, dot send, dot shund. I think it's dot shund. Anyway, I call him a hot dog. Um, his measurements are a little off because, you know, they're really small dogs, but their chest is really, really big. So a lot of stuff that's supposed to, um, work out for small dogs don't work for him. And since he's just like a weird shape, um, based on the measurement, I was supposed to get like a medium. However, this is like too big for his chest and it kind of fits like under the deepest part of his chest like it goes towards his belly more so I'm um, I called the company to see if I can get a smaller version and, and exchange this and toss this one back or to return this one and get another one um, so we'll see um, if not you know whatever I'll give it to somebody else but it's a really nice harness I mean the the top is really nice and breathable and it has a nice handle right here if you needed to especially if you have like a really big dog and you know like they're pulling or whatever you could just grab the handle and hold them this is a really nice nice harness i've had i have several harnesses and this is like the best one that i've seen it's made really really well i like that it's you know just quick release so real nice um next thing i got is not that i do it that often anymore but um i i saw it and i thought it was cute this is like a little organizer right here and um on one side when you open it it's got little places that if you want to put like credit cards or id identification and a pen a little notepad just to write down little notes or whatever and here if you're a couponer then you can put your coupons and stuff like that or you know whatever you want in here i don't know maybe you go to the movies all the time and you want to put your tickets in one for today tomorrow whatever i don't know that's so silly but you know what i'm saying um and they have these little things that you can keep in here or not keep in here. So I thought that was cute. This thing even has a little calculator inside. Check it out. Look, look, look. Ding. That's cute. Let's see. 
it's not the best calculator, but if you needed a calculator and a little quick jiffy, then go for it. Oh, this is, um, it says Buxton. Suggested retail price is 20 bucks, so it says here. I have to say, when I was first, first using it, like I was um, writing down some stuff for the grocery store yesterday, and the smell, it doesn't smell like that today at all. I guess it just kind of wore off because it was inside plastic. It smelled so like like blue or I don't know, but it smelled really bad. And I was thinking, ooh, I'm going to have to put this in my review that it smelled really bad. Um, I mean, I'll put it in there, but that it wears down. And it's, it's soft. It's not like a hard, hard plastic. It feels really nice and soft, which my fear is that the shade is going to wear down. But we'll see. And then the last thing I got is this brush. It says Beauty Kate, I don't know, liquid foundation. This is like, I don't even know what the real, real brushes are called, but ooh, this is so cool. I haven't had any of these brushes yet. So um, if you watch YouTube makeup videos, you'll see that they have, I think it's, no, I'm not gonna say it because I'll be completely wrong. Even if I say what I think I'm gonna say. Um, they have these brushes. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't look exactly like this. The ones that I've seen online that they're using the high-end ones, and this is like a foundation brush. It is super soft. It's super dense, super, super dense. I'm gonna try this out tomorrow for sure to apply my, my makeup. So you're supposed to be able to use this with wet and dry products, so powder and liquid foundations, and you just rub it in. And I'm just testing out if it goes into like all the little grooves and creases into little areas, and it feels like it actually would even go into all the little tiny crevices in my, in my face. So that's cool, I can't wait to use this. I'm super excited about that. Um, those are the couple things that I have gotten for review. All right, so that is it for my mail. So if that's all you wanna watch, then thank you so much for watching. But if not, then you can listen to me chit chat about nonsense, whatever. All right, so I'm gonna talk about a couple of things, I guess, um, my latest obsessions. Um, I'm gonna be doing an empties video coming up so I have a lot, a lot of products that I'm gonna um, go through. Hopefully my brain will remember it. So lately I haven't been watching very many beauty videos. I've been watching, most recently I have, there's um, 15, what is that, 15 days, 15 foundations from that Taylor. Um, so she's trying out a new foundation every day for 15 days. Well, at least on YouTube, it's every day for 15 days but um, she's not doing it like every day. Like she'll take breaks in between from what she's saying on the videos. Sure. But anyway, like, the only real beauty videos that I've been watching. Lately I've been super into watching and listening to, there's not really not much to watch, um, scary stories. There's a lot of people that just read either true stories from people that they submit to them or they read stories from Reddit or creepypastas or things like that. So, and if you're not familiar with um, like Reddit, those are supposedly like true stories that people write and then you can, they go over there and they read the stories that are there written by others. So I don't know if they're actually um, verified true, but I think some of them are. But um, anyway, they're really nice to listen to and I like to listen to creepy stuff. Like I'll fall asleep with it in my ear Oh my God, <laughs> I'm touching my phone. And what came up here is 10 disturbing things you should never Google. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what is that sound? Oh my gosh. So um, anyway, and how I got into that, I think it was just through my recommended um, feed. Like if you go to your recommendations, I don't know how it showed up on my recommendations. Uh, I think it was just like some random thing and I was like, oh, let me listen to it. And that was like, what, maybe two months ago? And I think I've, like the people that I have subscribed to, like um, I think the, the first one that I subscribed to, his name is B Busta, he's Australian, so he has a cool accent. Um, and I, I have watched every single one of his videos that he have ever made, not watched, because there's nothing to watch, you just listen. Um, so then I had to subscribe to somebody else and a lot of times you'll hear the same stories read by different readers obviously um, so then I'll just skip off on that um, because they're exactly the same sorry my neighbors are in the pool next door so you can and like their pool is right outside my window like but you know down below obviously um, 
so they're screaming whatever it's just chit chat so who cares um but yeah i've been obsessed with that like okay i'll tell you the ones that i i listen to i listen to i told you be busta your maker is really good and he has another one too it's your maker or something else he's got two channels um one new one is blue spooky um who else i'm looking at this here and it's like i see blue spooky and it's like one two three three in a row right there like i'll listen to it like in the shower i i got that um speaker in the mail a few weeks ago that i told you it was like a waterproof one so i put that one in the shower and then I'll just turn on my YouTube and I'll play it while I'm taking a shower so I can listen to some kind of stories. A lot of times I don't have that much time because of school. Um, so like when I'm going to sleep or sometimes in the car when I'm driving, um, since there's nothing to look at, you can just listen to the stories, but I'll have to put it in my headphones because I don't want my daughter listening to that stuff. Um, so I'll have my headphones in when I'm driving. I'll turn on the radio for her so she can listen to the radio and um, I'll put my phone down and just listen to whatever creepy stories that they have. And they have some that are hours long. Like we went on vacation last weekend and there was one that was a little over two hours long. So that was good that I could just listen to those creepy stories in the car. And the other thing that I have just started is that stupid Pokemon Go. <laughs> my son, he had all his friends coming over yesterday. I think there was like, all these humongous teenage boys. Let me see, how many were there? Like seven of them or something? They were all in the house and they were all just like bah, 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 Pokemon Go. So um, I've already heard a couple of little horror stories about people that have played it and they found like a dead body or something like that. Oh, there's one close by my house. Oh yeah, it's like right there, it's at my neighbor's house. I'm gonna have to go outside and go get them. <laughs> but I only started playing yesterday. And since yesterday, let me see. I've gotten 25 Pokemon because we went out yesterday. We went to go see, shoot, what was that show? We went to go see this, um, it's, I think it's, is it a French or a Russian? It's almost like La, La Nuba. What is that? I don't, you know that Cirque du Soleil kind of thing? It's not quite like Cirque du Soleil, but it's kind of in that realm. I think there were a lot of French gymnasts or performers in that show. Um, it was really cool. It was so freaking cool. I'm telling you. It was awesome. Look, Take your I'm going to show you. Awesome. It's only like an hour and 45 minutes, which was kind of disappointing. I really wish it was longer, but I mean, really, how long can those people throw themselves up in the air and jump around and, and like, they're, they're amazing. If you, if they come to your town, you got to go see that show. It's like I said, it's a short one. Now it's like going to the movies. Um, it's really, really good. So yeah. So we went to go see that show last night, Circopolis. And, um, since we went downtown, we went to go eat and we were walking around, so there was tons of Pokemon all over the place. Yes. My son is like, whoa, whoa, how'd you get to be level three already? I'm like, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just like clicking things and, and doing whatever I'm doing. <laughs> he goes, that's crazy, mom. I'm like, mm hmm. And I'm like, oh, here, 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 get it. Play it for me. Do this, do this, do this. I guess that's it, because I've been talking a whole heck of a lot. I guess I should sh shut it. So. All right, I guess that's all. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And um, yeah, be on the lookout for an empty video coming up. And you know, I have some Hello, I haven't gotten Hello Fresh in a while, but I do have some Hello Fresh videos from a while back. And, and maybe I'll do some more of that because I know people tend to like that one too. Um, yeah, so that's it. I will see you again in another video. Bye.